Hi, and welcome to the EM Transfer Agent tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to use EM Transfer to collect your buyer's earnest money 100% electronically. After you've set up your account with one of our earnest money holders, all you need to do is log in. After logging in, what you will see first is any transfers that you have set up. The date you created it, who your buyer is, what property address it was for, how much earnest money, what was the acceptance date and time on the contract, who the, what the current status is, and who your earnest money holder is. To create a new transfer, all you need to do is click on the New Transfer button. After you do that, you have two steps to complete. The first one is to identify who your buyer is. If your buyer has not used EM Transfer before, you will enter in their contact details here. If they have used it before, they will be in your existing buyer list. Today we're going to pick Joe Johnson. After you pick your buyer, now you're going to provide us with the information about the real estate transaction. First, we'll need your property address, then information off the purchase and sale agreement, so the date it was drafted, the acceptance date and time on the agreement. This is the, the date and time that the seller has to accept the contract by, not the date they accepted it. The date you expect it to close, how much earnest money you're going to collect, when to collect it, so upon receipt, which means when the buyer provides their bank details, upon acceptance would be when the buyer and seller have accepted the contract, or you have the option of, option of other, and here you can write in what the other reason is. A common example in the last few years was upon short sale approval. Today we're going to use upon acceptance. Then you're going to pick who your earnest money holder is. Uh, you can be connected to more than one earnest money holder, and today we're going to pick your title company. After you pick the title company, then you're going to be prompted with a list of closers. and You'll pick the closing team that you're working with. Lastly, you're going to put in the seller's name. After you've entered in all the required information, you simply click on the Submit button. After doing so, we'll prompt you and let you know that we've sent an email to your buyer requesting their payment information. At this point, you have a couple of available actions to you over here. One, you can send a reminder to your buyer. If you need to start over, you can cancel this transfer and start over, or you can click on the Close Transfer button, which will take you back to the view of all the transfers you have set up. And now we see this new transfer for 8500 uh, First Street. After you set up the earnest money transfer record for your buyer, we will send them an email letting them know that we need their bank information. In this email, they can click on this link, it will prompt them to log into the, their account at EM Transfer. If they've not used EM Transfer before, they will be prompted to set up their account with us at this time. We'll log in as the buyer now. After the buyer logs in, they will see the information that you entered for them. They can verify that the property address is correct, how much earnest money is going to be collected is correct, and who's going to be holding the earnest money. All the buyer has to do at this point is click on the Step 2 button. And this is where they will provide their bank details. If it's the first time they've used EM Transfer, they will not see this option of selecting from an existing account. Rather, they will enter their bank information down here. If they have used EM Transfer before, they can pick from an existing account. If they're not sure where to find their bank account information, they can click on the Help button and we'll show them where to find it on a check. Once they've provided their bank information, they click on the Submit button. And at this point, we'll prompt them with terms and conditions that come from the earnest money holder. Part of these terms and conditions will authorize the earnest money holder to electronically debit or credit the buyer's bank account. And there may be other information in here, such as how a earnest money dispute may be handled. At this point, all the buyer has to do is click on the Accept button. After clicking on the Accept button, we will prompt them and let them know what we've done, that we've sent their bank information to the trustee's bank, that we've sent out a notification document to both the agent and to themselves, and that we've retained their last four digits for reference purposes only, and that the trustee will move the money in accordance with the contract. At this point, the buyer is finished, and all they need to do is log out. After your buyer provides their bank details, we will send you and the buyer this email. This email contains what we call the earnest money notification document. This is the replacement for the copy of the check. If we open up this attachment, uh, what you'll find in here is all the information you entered, so who your buyer is, what bank account the earnest money is coming out of, how much earnest money is being collected, who's going to be holding it. You can take this document and you can send it to the seller side as verification for the earnest money is coming from. 
Additionally, the earnest money holder may attach other documents here that they want communicated or signed by the buyer and or seller. So for example, if uh, how an earnest money dispute might be handled, uh, maybe put in this document need to be signed by the seller as well. So please always check the second page to see if there's anything you need to include with the purchase and sale agreement that you're sending to the seller. At this point, we need to know if the offer was accepted or rejected by the seller. Once you have an answer to that, you log back into your account. It will open up the transfer, in this case for 8500 First Street. We'll see that the status is waiting for acceptance. And over here, you have some available actions. You can let us know if the offer is accepted, rejected, and you can still cancel it at this point. If you choose offer rejected, this will simply cancel everything at this point and no earnest money will be moved. If the offer is accepted, which is the option we'll choose now, when you click on it, you confirm that it was accepted. Once it's saved, you will see now this, the status of the transfer is verify the contract is signed. If we open this back up, you will see that you no longer have any available actions. This is because this is now moved over to the earnest money holder. They're gonna verify that you've sent them the signed contract and then they'll go electronically withdraw the money from the buyer's bank account and deposit it into the trust account. And that completes this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us directly through our website at www.emtransfer.com. Thank you, have a great day.